good morning children and welcome to my new class so let us start our new chapter uh, with the grammar part and that is chapter number 7 conjunctions so we have been doing conjunctions since very small classes so let us see what a conjunction is a conjunction is a word that is used to join words phrases and both independent and dependent clauses in a sentence this we very well know that conjunctions are the joining words now a conjunction is always uh, used to write a longer sentence or a complex sentence obviously when we are joining two phrases or two sentences using a word known as conjunction it becomes a complex sentence we'll read the second part later on first let us understand the kinds of conjunctions now see here if we talk about the types of kinds of conjunctions here there are three kinds of conjunctions coordinating conjunctions subordinate and correlative conjunctions let us see what are coordinate conjunctions a coordinate conjunction is used to join together the words phrases clauses or sentences like a normal conjunction there are seven coordinating conjunctions now we can remember these conjunctions using this short form fan boys f stands for a and n nor or neither b but o or y yet and s so so these are the seven coordinating conjunctions that we have now let us take up an example here let us take a simple example he is rich yet he is unhappy walk fast or you will must miss the bus he did not behave well so he was punished i hope this is clear to you now let us see what are subordinating conjunctions subordinate conjunctions look here a subordinate conjunction is a word that introduces a subordinate clause which cannot form a sentence on its own yes now we have a dependent clause here and an independent clause here now let us see here these girls are already tired although they have walked only half an hour so here although they have walked only half an hour if i remove this part if you see there are two parts one part is before the conjunction this one and the other part is this one which is after the conjunction now these two parts form dependent and independent clause now the dependent clause is the one which cannot form a sentence on its own like suppose if i remove this first part these girls are already tired if i remove this part will this remaining sentence make any sense like although they have walked only half an hour no it will not make any sense so the part which makes complete sense these girls are already tired this makes complete sense so this is the independent clause and the one which is after although is the dependent clause so such conjunctions which join two clauses one is independent and one is dependent then it is called a subordinate conjunction let us take one more example we had a bag of popcorn for dinner because we had nothing else to eat now again because is there now look at the first part if you look at the first part we had a bag of popcorn for dinner this makes complete sense even if i remove the rest of the part it will not affect it now look at this we had nothing else to eat if i remove the first part this will not make any sense i hope you have understood the subordinate conjunction so these are subordinate conjunctions right next we talk about correlative conjunction the third one now these are paired conjunctions what do you mean by paired conjunctions paired means they always uh, join come with 
टू और थ्री लाइक आइदर और नाइदर नॉर बोथ एंड नॉट ओनली बट ऑल्सो वेदर और सो दीज आर कॉल्ड को रिलेटिव कंजंक्शंस नाउ लेट एस टेक द एग्जाम्पल आइदर टेक इट और लीव इट वेरी सिंपल आइदर शी और हर मदर मस्ट बी एट होम सो आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू ओके नेक्स्ट नाइदर नॉर नाइदर नॉर मीन्स नन ऑफ द टू कंडीशंस द बैग हैज नाइदर वॉज नाइदर ऑन द टेबल नॉर इन द कपड He neither wrote me any letter nor sent an email. Although and yet, although he is a doctor, yet he smokes. So this tells us about two contradicting situations. Both and and these both point towards the same condition. Not only but also tells us about two things uh, talking about the same situation. Now some of the common correlative conjunctions are such as such that, so that, no sooner than, hardly when. So these are some of the examples. Please go through all these examples to have a better clarity of all the things. Now I want you all to do exercise seven point one as your homework. This is a very simple exercise with just multiple choice questions. So, exercise seven point one is your homework. I'll be discussing this exercise very briefly in my next session before we move on. So, have a nice day and keep learning.